Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to implement breadth-first search algorithm using Java programming language. So, let's start right away. With the breadth-first search algorithm, we can traverse trees. So, first, let's create our own tree and let me explain you what exactly it does. If you don't know what a tree is, you can see the image on the screen right now. And basically each tree has a root node and then all other nodes are children of that node or some other node but all are connected to that root node. So when we create our tree with this constructor we pass it a value and an empty list of children. And then when we want to get the value of the current node we have the method getValue which returns this value over here. And we have return children, which returns a list of children, which we created here. And then we can also add children to a node, and we do it like this. So we create a new tree, and we add it to the children, and we return it so we can actually use it in the program. But we can also access it using like get children and then we can traverse that list and take all the children. So that's all you need actually to implement the tree in Java. And now we'll go to the breadth first search algorithm. In this class we implement the search method and we search the tree and we want to find the value. You can find this code on my github so you can follow along and the main idea of breadth first search is that first you search all the nodes on the same level before going to the next level. And you can see the animation on the screen. So first we go to level zero, which is root node. As you can see, we start with the root node. And then after that, we go to level one. After we have visited all nodes on level one, we go to level two and so on. And depth first search would be take the first node you see and go as deep down as you want. So that's the difference between breadth first search and depth first. In here we want to go level by level. So we add the first node, the root node, to the queue. And then we say while queue is not empty, search for the node we want. In here we just print out the current queue. It will come out useful later when we demonstrate the program. And then you remove the current node because you already visited that node. If that and we save it in the current node. And if that node is has the value that we want, we found the node and we don't have to keep searching. So we just return and end the method. And if we did not find the value we're looking for, we need to keep looking further. So we add to the queue all of current node children. And what that does, if our root node has five children, we add them to the queue in order. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we go back, we're, we're still in this while loop. And again, we take the first node, which is one. We check if that's the value we need. And if it's not, we add all of that children, but to the end of the queue. The next node we visit is still that node from the root node, because in queue we add to the end. And then that ensures that we visit all nodes on the same level before going to the next level. So let's demonstrate this. I created a tree, so I created a root node, and then I added three children to the root node. And then I added uh, more children to some other node. And I call this method search. So we're looking for value 207, which is this, in the root node. So let's start the program. And as you can see, finished searching, we found this value. And let's go back to this. So first, our queue is only 10, because we only added value 10 here. The value 10 is this value over here. Then we come here, we print it, so we only print this, and the current node becomes the only node, well actually the first node, but the only node in this case, which is 10. 
we check if that value is equal to 207 and it is not so we add all children of 10 to the queue and when we go back in this while loop and print it out we have 5 7 and 15 in order and as you can see here we have 5 7 and 15 in order and the next current node will be 5 so we make it the current node we check if its value is equal to 207 and if it's not we add that those children to the queue so next time we go back you can see when we print it we have we don't have five anymore because we already visited five but we have seven which is this 15 which is this and we have 115 which is the ch child of this node and as you can see in the next step we don't have seven but we have 15 and 115 and in the next step we only have 115 because 15 doesn't have any children and the next is the child of 115 which is 207 and that's when we finish searching and if we were looking for some other value let's say 500 and we we can add it to to the end tree new child 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 is this new child child add child and we want to add 500 and run the program again you can again see the similarity so again we have 10 we have children of 10 and then we have and then we have our queue and as you can see the queue is like you are standing in a line in a shop so this is first second third then when five goes out we go to seven and fifteen and so on and that's basically what the breadth first search algorithm does is it visits all nodes on the same level before going to to another level Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye.